Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mirko and today I'm not your Italian tutor because today is vlog number two about Israel. So today we're going to talk about transportation in Israel. If it's easy, what kind of transportation they have there, how, you do, how to move from airport to the main city. So basically when you get to Ben Gurion, you have different options according where you're going. So our travel was basically three days in Jerusalem and then four days in Tel Aviv. So when you want to go to Jerusalem, you have different options. So you can take a taxi if you're posh. We are not. You can take a shuttle, which is number 485 and it costs 16 shekel. Or you can take the high-speed train, which I recommend it because it's really quick. It takes only 30 minutes, but it costs 23 shekel. So, regarding the shuttle... So, we were using Euro as a conversion. So, we were taking the shekel split four. If you go to Tel Aviv, you can take a train, but the train leaves you basically in the main train station and then you have to take a bus for, for example, for our apartment and the apartment was closed by the sea, so it wasn't really comfortable for us. Or, lucky enough, we find out the last day, only the last day, that outside our apartment there, were, there is the bus stop to get to the airport and you can take the 445. And basically it takes you in 45 minutes to the airport. Quack, quack. So when we move from Jerusalem to Tel Aviv, in our opinion that morning, I think because we were exhausted from uh, sightseeing and whatsoever, we decided to take a taxi. The taxi took us directly to the apartment in Tel Aviv and we paid 350 shekel. It was a van. And I think it was like 45 minutes. And I have a clip of the road. Hi, Hi guys, we are traveling to Tel Aviv. In a posh way, we have this little van. And I don't know if you can see the street. No, you cannot see because there is so much light. It's so hot. Some of my friends ask me, so what about the taxi? Um, when you are in Tel Aviv in Jerusalem, you can find many taxis to go around if you don't want to walk. And um, they're pretty cheap in my opinion. There are few applications if you want to download, like Get Taxi, you have Uber, but Uber doesn't give you the price. It's going to give you like by meters. So basically it's the same. And then there is a, something very cool that we didn't experience, but I read about, it's like the Sherut, which is like a shared taxi. It's going to stop and pick up different people and you can ask him to stop where you want to go. But there are also then routes that they're going to take, like fixed route. Because the Sherut is really good, especially during Shabbat. So from Friday afternoon to Saturday, because you're going to experience on Shabbat, the transportation basically stop and you're basically trapped. For this reason, you can take a shirut. You, I, to be honest, everyone told me about this Shabbat, uh, like every, everything is going to close, blah, blah, blah. But to be honest, Friday afternoon, Friday evening, I could see taxis around, not buses or train, but I could see mm, normal taxi, shirut, um, shops were open, so it depends. When you are in Israel, however, I recommend you to buy the rough card. So the rough card basically it's like an oyster card where you can put top up with money and use it on the transportation in Israel. The cool thing uh, of this card is that you can use it for a group of people. So we were using one card for five people on the buses. However, the lady that sold the card didn't mention that on the train you couldn't use it. Uh, as a group, you can use it as individual, but she keeps saying, yeah, yeah, you can use it, don't worry for five people, train, bus, blah, blah, blah. And then when we took the train once, we had some problems because we thought we could use it like on the bus. So, yeah. And there was also an offer. We, if you basically top up 200 shekel, they give you 50 shekel additional. So it was pretty cool. 
They say that there is a deposit between 5 and 10 shekel. We didn't pay this deposit, to be honest. We paid 250 card, and that's it. So I'm not sure about that. So if you have a different experience, comment in the section below. Um, so these are my experience like transportation. I'm going to put in the comment section below uh, the number of the buses uh, and the cost that I gave you before. And if you had other experience on transportation or if you have a different opinion, please share with me. And in the next video, we are going to see Jerusalem. Bye for now.